Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do that Q&A that I was discussing in my last community post. If you guys haven't seen it, I did post a little picture on there asking for you guys to leave a question and I did get some responses. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer those questions while I do some wrapping. I've got a few little gifts for my daughter here. I've got some for my husband. I've got some for my family. Hopefully they're not watching. <laughs> um, so yeah, I thought I'd answer those questions. Forgive uh, my sound if it's a little echoey. We are in my kitchen slash living room, as you can see behind me, my tree, my little kitty over there. <laughs> and I am on my island. Um, I'm six months pregnant, as you can see. Got comfy clothes on, super chill. Um, but this is the best place that I can wrap because I've got my big island here and I don't have to bend over. So if you guys wanna get to some questions and answers and wrap some presents, Let's get started. All right, so I think I'm gonna start with my daughter's stuff, get that out of the way, that is the most important. I don't want her to see or find any presents not wrapped. Now we do do gifts from Santa as well as gifts from um, parents and grandparents and family. If you guys haven't seen what I got my daughter for Christmas uh, this year, I will link it down below. You guys can go check that out if you want more in depth. Um, I'm not gonna go over the presents or anything. Um, but yeah, so my husband and my daughter, they are on a daddy-daughter date, so once a month, they try to get out of the house and go have dinner and go see a show or go see a movie or something, just them two. My husband does work a lot, so he doesn't have a lot of time uh, at home. He's not here every single night at five o'clock for dinner, you know, like most people. He is, you know, a Cirque du Soleil performer, so his schedule is really based on the show and when they have off, like he will work Christmas, he worked Thanksgiving, he'll work New Year's Eve. You know, our, our lifestyle and our schedule is a little bit different, so we try to take advantage. So I need to get some tape, hold on. So our little Elfie, our little elf on the shelf, he's taken off with most of the tape. So I have one and a half tape rolls left, so we'll see how much I can get done. Um, but yes, I did uh, post a post about Elfie if you guys wanted some ideas for Elf on the Shelf. But unfortunately, around that time, I got sick. Um, I'm still getting over my cold, as you can probably tell. I am still very nasally. Um, but yes, next year I will definitely try to do Elf on the Shelf ideas for you guys. I know some people were really, really wanting to see them, and I apologize. This Christmas season has just been rough. Um, we've all been sick and finally getting better, so it hasn't quite felt like Christmas. So next year, definitely I will do some more of those kinds of videos. But let me get into the questions that were asked. So let me grab my phone. All right, got my phone, got my questions. So the first question is, will you share what you got your husband for Christmas? Yes, I actually do have some gifts for him. Um, I guess I can show you guys real quick, stop the wrapping on my daughter for a second. Um, my husband is a very manly man. He loves fashion and he loves clothes and he loves looking good and smelling good. So I did get him some sweaters here. This one I got from Tommy Hilfiger from Macy's. Got him a Lacoste one, it's gray, and that. And then I got him a navy one, also from Lacoste. I did get him some cologne, I got him some shoes. Typical things that guys like. Uh, my, my husband has a lot of shoes. He loves shoes. He loves cologne. He has a big, big uh, perfume collection and I'm definitely going to add to it this year. So yes, that's some great ideas. Um, my husband isn't really into sports. He is from France. So um, we don't really, he's not like a football. He doesn't follow football or baseball or basketball really. He follows uh, football like European football or soccer to us, um, but nothing religiously. He doesn't watch it every single week, um, nor does he um, want to go see live games or anything like that. So my husband's very simple when it comes to that. He doesn't play video games, um, which I'm grateful for. I know some women's husbands, they live on their Xbox or their PlayStation and that would drive me bananas. So I'm glad he's not like that. So yes, that is what I got for him. And honey, hopefully you're not watching this. You don't ruin your Christmas presents. <laughs> this one's done. Uh, what are your family's holiday traditions? Um, every single year, it's not really our traditions per se, but every single year we get my daughter a little dancing, uh, like little thing from the grocery stores that sing Christmas music and dance. Like there's a Santa one that she got that shakes its butt, it's so cute. She's got about six of those. So every year that she's been, you know, here on earth, we've gotten her one um, and she absolutely loves them. 
So that is one thing that we do. Uh, we also bake Christmas cookies, or I should say I bake Christmas cookies every year. I didn't do it this year yet because we were sick, um, but I will probably make a small batch for my family. Um, I usually give them out to family and friends, and then my husband will take them to work with him. Um, but like I said, this year I was sick, so I didn't want anyone to feel awkward taking cookies knowing I was sick and thinking they're gonna get sick from me. So, yep, we bake Christmas cookies every year and go see Santa, take pictures. We drive around um, and see the lights, like typical stuff like that. And uh, Christmas, we don't really do a Christmas dinner. We kind of get takeout, so that's something else that we do. We don't cook, we will have like a nice uh, Christmas brunch like my family is going to come over for Christmas and we'll do a Christmas brunch and then they'll go home and do Christmas dinner or do whatever they want to do and we kind of do what I want to do my husband's schedule doesn't really allow for like a nice Christmas dinner he's not home on holidays like he has to work Thanksgiving and Christmas so that kind of stinks so we kind of got we've gotten used to that for Thanksgiving we we tend to have like um, uh, dinner super super early like two o'clock sometimes even one just so that he can eat before he goes to work uh, but yeah that's kind of our christmas traditions there it's not the prettiest but it's my daughter's so <laughs> she's not gonna care she's just gonna rip it open anyway all right next question is do you have goals for the new year Yes, I do. Um, I'm going to have my baby. I did mention earlier I'm six months pregnant. If you guys didn't know, I am. Um, I'm going to have my baby. Babies due uh, April 3rd, but I'm going to be induced to have a C-section. Uh, I had complications last time around with my daughter, so my doctor thinks it's the safest for me to have a C-section again. Uh, so that's what's going to happen. So with that being said, I obviously want to lose weight. I want to lose all the baby weight, get back in shape. Um, I always have money goals, you know, for the future. I always want to save money to invest. We are very, you know, smart with our money. We do like to save money and invest despite buying all my daughter <laughs> these Christmas presents. We are pretty responsible with our money, so I always want to save. Uh, we do want to move to Florida, hopefully within the next two years. Uh, we will be leaving Vegas. We've enjoyed our time, but it's time to move on. So that is kind of our goal. I'm working towards that. You know, just becoming debt free and paying off the cars and the house and you know, that kind of stuff. Being an adult, really. Um, those are my goals. So, okay, bear with me guys. I had to sit down. I'm probably gonna alternate sitting and standing and so you guys can actually see me wrapping. Um, so just bear with me. So the next question is, hi Tiffany, I hope you are well. I wanted to know if you know when your baby is due and do you know what you're having? Yes, our baby is due on April 3rd, but I will probably go sooner than that. I will be induced to have a C-section, um, but we are having a boy, yay, which is so exciting. It's exactly what we wanted. Wanted one girl, one boy, two and done. We're good with two. Super blessed, super happy that we got one of each. So yes, I do already know the name. I'm not gonna release it yet. That will be in an upcoming video, so definitely stay tuned. I am gonna be filming some more baby videos. Um, I am gonna be doing his nursery. It is gonna be like a car slash transportation themed room. So I'm super excited. I have a ton of DIYs that I wanna make for his room. So definitely stay tuned, I will be filming that. So yes, Sylvia, there's your answer. I do know what I'm having and it is a boy. Okay, next question, how much do you earn? That's uh, kind of personal and that varies day to day, hour to hour. It's not something that is consistent. So I'm gonna keep that one to myself. How do you manage strikes, I think? I think that's what you mean, not streaks. Uh, strikes, I haven't gotten any strikes. If you mean like copyright strikes, I haven't gotten any. Um, I'm very, very, very careful with my sound. Like I have a Christmas movie on right now, but I don't have the sound on for that reason. I don't wanna be copyright striked. So yes, uh, how do you handle the house? Um, I kind of have like a schedule that I rotate. Certain days I do certain things or I pick it up as I go. I don't really have a specific routine per se, except for I try to clean the floors at least once a week on the weekend, preferably a Sunday. Uh, my daughter does have 
hip hop class and acro on Saturdays, so I am pretty busy uh, on that day. So Sunday's kind of like my cleaning day, but I definitely have a chore list um, for my daughter. So she has things that she has to do, like constantly pick up her room, constantly pick up her playroom, you know, things like that. Uh, dishes get done once a day. Um, I kind of just like to tackle it as I go. And if I see a mess, I clean it up. I don't really wait. So, yeah. All right, next up is what is your favorite movie and you always make lovely videos? Oh, thank you so much. Um, that is a hard, hard question. I love TV. I love movies. Um, oh, man. That's rough. I just actually finished watching Sons of Anarchy for like the third time. I love that show, such a great show. It's a very manly show, so it's kind of weird that I like it, but I do, I absolutely love it. Um, it's so good and just so messed up, to be honest. Um, but movie, gosh, I could tell you that I've seen Titanic probably 50 times, no joke. That used to be my favorite as a kid, but now, oh man, I don't even know. That's such a hard choice. I like TV, I think, more than movies. I like movies too, don't get me wrong. Um, I am a big horror movie fan, like the Conjuring series, the Insidious series, I'm all about. Like classic horror is really good too. Um, I definitely like the thriller type of movies over like a comedy. Um, you'll definitely find me searching through Netflix looking for a scary movie any day of the week. Even if I'm alone, I don't care. I watch scary movies. It doesn't really scare me per se. Um, I was actually like, eight months pregnant when I saw The Conjuring 2, I believe, uh, with my daughter. I went to go see it in theaters. It didn't bother me, it, didn't it made me jump a little, but it didn't scare me. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I can't answer that one. That one's rough, that's a hard one, really, really hard. <laughs> All right, next question, where do you live? I live in Las Vegas, Nevada, in the United States of America. I get that one a lot. Um, when I first started my channel, I had a lot of international viewers, and I'm sure I still do. Um, but I had a lot of viewers from India, and that was a number one question, is where are you from? And I am from the US. I live in Las Vegas. The next one is, what is your favorite Christmas movie? Oh man, that's rough. I actually have Polar Express on right now, um, but Christmas Vacation, definitely number one for me. Um, and then after that, probably Home Alone. And then after that, I really, really love the Santa Claus. Santa Claus is really good too. Uh, but Christmas Vacation, I just, I laugh every time. I watch it three or four times, if not more, throughout the holiday season. So Christmas Vacation it is. Uh, next one isn't really a question. It just says introduce your family. I would, but I'm wrapping their presents and they're not home, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, but I will insert some pictures here. Lilia, do you like it? Yeah? <laughs> what was your favorite one? This one? Whoa, let's see. Whoa. It's a big archway. Yeah, and who's here? Is it giving him a bisou? Your brother kids always chicken. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> actually go to a little Christmas event last night. It was called uh, Enchant and it was at the Las Vegas ballpark. It was absolutely amazing. I've got some footage here and some pictures if you guys want to see, but we had so much fun. Uh, my husband's name is Yaya. Um, he is from France. My daughter's name is Delia and she's almost six. And then obviously my name is Tiffany and then I have a boy on the way, which I am not going to release his name quite yet. I almost slipped, but yes. Um, I've been married to my husband for almost 10 years. We've been together 10 years, but not married 10 years yet. Um, but yeah, maybe uh, if you want to see some more pictures and videos of my family, I have some day in the life vlogs. If you want to go check that out, you can definitely see us in action and kind of hear everybody and see our, our candor and how we are with each other. We're a very playful, loving family. Uh, next question is, what do you like most to eat on Christmas? Um, like, I like sweets, like donuts and pastries we always have for Christmas. Um, but other than that, there's not like a specific thing that I eat on Christmas. We don't do a Christmas dinner, like I mentioned earlier. We kind of do fast food or eat out. It's kind of a tradition of ours. 
So, um, I definitely love Christmas cookies. I will definitely do some damage on some Christmas cookies. So I would probably say that. Christmas cookies, pastries, anything like Christmas themed, I'm all about. And then last one from this person is, what is your favorite thing about Christmas? My favorite thing is just how it feels. Um, I love Christmas music and the Christmas spirit and the decorations. Uh, my mom did a really great job growing up making me feel special and I'm trying to do the same for my daughter and making Christmas feel special and magical and whimsical. It's not about the gifts at all. You know, I really could care less. I love giving gifts. That's probably my favorite thing is watching my daughter and my husband or my family open up a gift that I know that they would love and I've been trying to keep it inside, keep it a secret. Um, I really enjoy that, but definitely just the feeling of Christmas, how most people are really happy and very cheerful and no one's angry about things. You know, I went to the store today and everyone was in a good mood, said thank you, hi, how are you? You know, just above and beyond the normal friendliness. Um, I just really love that so much. The Christmas spirit is definitely alive this year. All right, I'm trying not to do the obnoxious wrapping in front of you guys for all the loud noise. I can't tell how loud it really is going to be. Um, but yes, let's see, next question. Uh, where are you from? So I mentioned that already. I'm from the US. Um, I was not born and raised in Vegas, which is where I live now. But I am, uh, I was born in Louisiana on an Air Force base. So fun little fact, I am an Air Force brat. <laughs> Okay, daughter down. My wrapping isn't the prettiest, but it gets the job done. I'm not trying to get a wrapping award here, <laughs> and my daughter's not gonna look at it. I may not even put uh, bows on it. She doesn't even care, and I'm kind of running out of bows, so I'm gonna save those for my husband and my family. <laughs> Moving on to my husband's stuff. I've got a few things to wrap for him. Um, let's see, next question. Uh, how old are you? I am 34 years young. I used to be ashamed to say that, but there's no shame in being my age. I am a grown woman, I have a family. So yes, I am 34 years young. Uh, what is your favorite YouTuber? Uh, I don't know, I don't really have one. I kind of watch a little bit of everything. Uh, I, lot, I watch a lot of DIY videos, a lot of cooking videos. Um, just random, random things. I find myself at night on YouTube just scrolling through shorts, um, even Facebook, they've got some really good videos. I watch videos about animals, about babies, all kinds of stuff, so I don't really have a favorite YouTuber per se. Okay, next couple questions. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you so much. Um, and this one's referring to my baby. I am six months uh, pregnant, like I've said a few times. Um, so I am doing better, I am feeling better as well. I did have a cold, um, but super excited, feeling good. Uh, the beginning of my pregnancy was a little rough. Um, I wasn't feeling great and it took me about 20 weeks in to start not feeling nauseated anymore. Um, so yes, I'm feeling good. Uh, this is my last baby, so I am excited and I'm treasuring you know, the last few kicks and things that I'm experiencing now because we won't be having any more children, so. Yes, doing doing great, thank you. Um, I wanted to ask you, since you buy a lot of things, after creating the things, what do you do with that? I think that's what you're trying to say. Um, I have them all. Uh, everything I create, I keep. Either it goes into my garage, into storage, or I use it for decoration for the holiday season. Um, but some stuff I have given away, um, not everything, but I do keep everything I make for the most part. All right, and then the last question is, can you tell the gender if you know? Yes, I've already mentioned it. I am having a baby boy. And like I said, I do know his name, but we will release that later on. So I'm super, super excited. So I didn't have too, too many questions. I was hoping for more questions, um, but I did wanna take this opportunity and chat with you guys uh, with Christmas coming to an end and the holiday season coming to an end. Uh, I kinda wanna talk about the direction of my channel um, I have been doing a ton of DIYs and I love doing DIYs, but I'm not like a random decor DIY person. I'm not a specifically DIY channel. Um, I kind of do them mainly in the holiday season. So for uh, Valentine's Day and for Easter, I definitely plan on doing some. I'm already planning those. 
um, but I kind of want to know from you guys what do you want to see you know I have a lot of viewers but I know a lot of you are for my DIYs only you don't necessarily uh, subscribe for my cooking videos or my lifestyle videos so I'm hoping in the new year I don't lose a ton of you I am gonna kind of shift um, and kind of do more lifestyle content I really enjoy doing that like morning routines night routines like I'm pregnant so I do want to share some baby related things like a baby boy haul you know maybe a nursery haul nursery DIYs I'm definitely gonna be doing those kind of videos I have so many ideas for his room I'm so excited to get started I actually just placed an order on Hobby Lobby and on Etsy this morning so I am gonna start getting that stuff in the mail um, but yeah, I kind of want to know what you guys want to see, you know, I, I really love cooking and not all of my cooking videos do well on my channel. So I'm kind of trying to feel it out and see what you guys think. I don't want to lose a ton of you, but I do need to grow and I do need to go with my current life. How do I say that? My current life path, you know, I'm having a baby, I've got a child, I'm a family, you know, mom, I'm, a, I do family things. So I'm kind of going to go on that route. Um, so just a little heads up there. I will be doing more DIYs for the holidays, uh, Easter stuff I have planned, like what I got my daughter for her Easter basket, things like that. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to start doing more lifestyle content. So I hope you guys hang around and stick around. Um, but with all that said, all the questions have been answered. So I hope you guys got some more insight, got to know me a little bit better, got to wrap some presents with me. Um, kind of just chill, have a nice evening with me while I got to answer some questions. And I hope you guys stick around. Um, I am going to take a little bit of a break. I'm going to scale it back a little bit. Um, I have been doing two videos a week for uh, three months now, I want to say. Like right before Halloween, so like August time frame, I was doing two videos a week and it's a lot. Um, I am getting bigger and bigger. I'm getting more tired as I go, as you know. I progress in my pregnancy, so I'm gonna scale back a little bit and shoot for one video a week. Um, like I said, it's gonna be a little bit of everything, lifestyle, cooking, cleaning, baby stuff, you know, my current life path. I kinda wanna share that with you guys. Um, Cause I just, I don't wanna overdo it. I've been having quite a few Braxton Hicks lately. Um, I'm 26 weeks pregnant, so it's not abnormal, but I definitely need to take it easy. I kind of, overdone it to be honest um, my husband's telling me I need to relax go a little bit more slow I'm getting bigger and I'm not a spring chicken anymore I'm not super young I'm not 27 like when I had my daughter I felt fine I felt fabulous you know the whole pregnancy this one it's definitely harder and I'm definitely older so my body's you know taking a little bit a little bit rougher toll on my body but um i love reading you guys' comments and sharing the love you guys are so sweet i appreciate each and every one of you for watching my videos and supporting me um, i know a lot of you ask about my daughter they want to see her more i did feature her more when i first started my channel and i may bring that back um, but i had some privacy concerns um, so we'll see in the future if i share more uh, if i share baby too we'll see maybe when he gets older i'll share a little bit more of him I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching my videos and supporting my channel. And I am going to probably not film a video for Christmas. I might upload a couple snippets or a little video or on my Instagram. You guys should go follow me over there um, of Christmas morning. I'm not gonna film Christmas. Um, that's very personal. I kinda wanna keep that for my family. Um, I'm gonna have a lot of family here. We are hosting, so I don't wanna shove a camera in anybody's face. I'm not that kind of vlogger or YouTuber. Um, so yes, I will see you guys after Christmas and I hope you guys have a very, very Merry Christmas. Enjoy that time with your family um, and stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.